what if you could choose your baby's genes not just to eliminate diseases but select their traits like intelligence or strength a california startup is working on just that editing human embryos and it's raising serious ethical concerns the company's name is bootstrap bio backed by silicon valley investors the technology they're using is called germline editing it alters the dna of embryos changes that would be passed on to future generations the goal prevent inherited diseases or even enhance certain traits that are desirable but scientists say the risks are massive they say that when you mess with the safety of babies you want to be pretty confident as one has no idea what would actually happen According to Bloomberg, Bootstrap Bio's founder started anonymously posting online about gene editing adults, but then they pivoted. They decided that it might actually be faster and simpler to edit embryos instead. They've opened a lab, brought in scientists, and plan to start trials possibly outside the US. Among their investors, a couple who have been linked to Elon Musk and promote higher birth rates. They even consider editing their own embryos if it meant reducing health risks. But then comes ethical questions. Some warn that this could lead to designer babies and widen the gap between the rich and the poor. But this is not the first time that someone has tried to edit human life. It has also happened in the past. One scientist has already done this and paid the price as well. Back in 2018, Chinese researcher He Jiangko had shocked the world when he claimed to have created the first gene-edited babies. He was later imprisoned to three years and banned from working on this technology. Now he says he's relocating to Austin, Texas to continue embryo editing in a private lab, though he says he's not interested in working anymore. Right now in the U.S., the law bars the FDA from even reviewing applications to edit embryos, so companies like this may look abroad. Bootstrap Bio has suggested Honduras for future trials. Globally, researchers are urging caution. Some want a 10-year embargo on germline editing because there are vast, complex challenges in it. Plus, it's unclear what medical problem this is trying to solve. So we ask again. Should we edit human life before it even begins? It could stop disease or it could redefine what it means to be human. But just because we can, the question is, should we? And if we do, who gets left behind?